In this video, we're going to see how to create a new user in MySQL using the phpMyAdmin tool. So I've already logged into phpMyAdmin, and this is a fresh installation of WAMP. By default, the admin user is root with no password. So I've simply logged in with those credentials, which is essentially a, an all-access pass. I click up here on User Accounts. And as a matter of fact, you can see root, no password, has all privileges. Now, that's not really a good idea to maintain for a long time, so we should probably give it a password. We should do some modification with privileges. But before we do that, we need to make another account that also has all privileges. So I choose Add User Account, and we'll simply follow the wizard here. So for username, we'll choose some username like admin. Uh, host name, any host is fine. Uh, password, uh, choose your own. I'm typing one in now that's going to make, uh, you know, make everything happy. So there we go. And one more time, the password. Hopefully I remember what I typed in the first time. There we go. Uh, okay, everything looks good. Global privileges, we'll go ahead and check all. Now be careful here, make sure that you really want to do this because this is giving this user super user access to essentially every database that we have in or every schema that we have in this database if you want to say it that way. The other way to grant access, which is a bit more common, is to only to create this user and allow that user to only have access to databases that are have the same name as the user. For that, I would click this first box and I would not choose global privileges. Uh, or we could say, okay, what if I want to make this, what if I want to make a database not just called admin, but maybe I have admin underscore one, admin underscore two, admin underscore three, and I want this user to have access to all those databases that begin with admin. In that case, I would check the second box. So be careful, make sure you're checking what you want to check. In our case, you know, this is a virtual machine. It's something I'm using just for training. It's not publicly available. I'm going to go ahead and say global privileges and we'll allow all. I require no SSL here again in a production environment. That's not an ideal thing to do. And at this point, I go ahead and choose OK. And looks like it didn't like my password. Let's try that one more time. And... Okay, doesn't like the strength of my password naturally, but let's try this one more time and go. Okay, and you see the statement that ran above, uh, create user admin, so on and so forth. For good, for good health, a lot of times I like to just kind of keep this one in case I need to refer back to it later. So we'll go ahead and throw this statement in a notepad. Uh, that way I can remember exactly how we created this user. Of course, I can always go back here and edit it, but nonetheless, uh, nice to kind of see what happens. So let's take a look at this. We now have admin and password, yes. Global privileges, alt privileges, yes. So it looks very much like root. So now I have a user. Uh, so that's a quick and easy way to create a user in MySQL. And since we have the command that it issued as well, in the future, we can, we can create new users using simply this command. So I hope this video has been helpful. I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.